Bloody hell, are we still doing these? Loot crate. Haven't done these for a while, and frankly, I've got two loot crates and another box knocking around, and I just kind of want to get them out of the way, because I think we're moving over monthly to the wish.com stuff now. I think these have had their day. They're kind of going away now. Um, loot crate still lives on, and there are various other ones, but you know, they're not quite what they once were. Anyway, let's open it up and find out if the contents were what they once were. Segway, guys. It is... Oh, it's like the Lost in Space spaceship look going on. Look, look. We, we've got Space Boy, Space Girl, Space Dog, and the coffin they will all die in and then uh, just float around in space rotting forever. Because that's how space travel works. At least it does if you've apparently made your spaceship out of an old bucket. Right, what do we got? What do we got, guys? Have we got stuff? I hope so. We have office space. I've had this t-shirt before in something. The office space t-shirt. Did it come in a loot crate? Because if it did, I've got it again. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Well, if you've seen this video before, look, there's a red stapler. There's a reference. How bizarre. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, it's Loot Crate branded. Loot Wear exclusive. So I must have had this before in a Loot Crate. Oh well, got two of them. Now, actually, I gave the other one to somebody else. What if they want a second one? What else have we got? We've got, ooh, an alien something. Now we're talking. An alien bag. Alien washcloth? Do what, John? What, what, why a washcloth? Oh well. I mean, I mean, it's useful. You could wash your cloths with it. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's got that kind of microfiber thing that a lot of people can't stand the touch of. And, yep, that's a big old face hugger. Kind of looks like a massive pair of distended testicles from here, so that's always nice. And knowing HR Giga, probably on purpose. Um, oh, that was the picture's coming away already on the, where it's been folded. Uh, oh, well. What's next, then? <laughs> We've got a small book, a Jupiter 2 mission log. Now, that is lost in space. I don't know if this is a reference to the 60s series, this one, or these recent Netflix thing that I did watch, and it was it was all right. I'm not really going to watch any more, though. 24th mission. It's a, literally an empty blank book for you to write all your thoughts in, like washcloth. <clears throat> Next up, pin. OK, the pin's cool. They really did start knocking these pins out of the park like a year or so ago, didn't they? Used to be just like their logo and crap like that and all naff writing on. Now they're just really nice designs. Look, it's a rocket. It's gone round a moon. Moon's made of cheese. Rocket isn't. And that's how rockets work. I hope uh, some astronomers watching have uh, made a note of that and can uh, put that in their work going forward. And finally, Ooh, Captain Marvel 3D comic standy. Okay, colour me interested. Captain Marvel, one of the better Marvel films, certainly one of the better, uh, what do you call it, origin ones, I suppose. Although I quite like Thor, most people don't. Um, I like Captain America First Avenger as well. A lot of people didn't. I don't know, people, eh? But Captain Marvel, yeah, it's a solid one. Didn't do anything too amazing. Did introduce quite a lot of the uh, cosmic bits and bobs, which was nice. Do you know what really pissed me off? Right, this is totally irrelevant, but you know there's that bit in, uh, right, spoilers for Avengers Endgame incoming. We've all seen it now. <clears throat> so there's the bit where Captain Marvel's been gone, blah, blah. She comes back during the fight sequence, and they're like, oh, something's coming. Look, comes Captain Marvel, like, oh my God, I've just realized they've set up the fact that she's been off on all these other planets where obviously half the people there have been wiped out as well. It isn't just Earth, you know, it's like a bloody universe-wide phenomenon. So, she's been off of them. Oh my god, she's going to bring back, like, a massive armada of ships from all these other planets in order to fuck up Thanos. No, she literally comes back and run. I mean, I know that's cheaper to do, but... Don't set it up if you're not going to do it, guys. Dearie me. How cool would that have been? Seriously. Would have been amazing. And also, you, you're you now left with the slightly unpleasant aftertaste that apparently no other planet in the fucking universe gave a shit. Half your people's dead. Yeah, but we ain't going to go and fight Thanos. I mean, he's got a funny stick with a knife on each end. You know. So poor old Captain Marvel has to come back and do it. So anyway, right, enough of that. <clears throat> Ooh. That's definitely a thing. Um, it's it's an oddity because when they they do this kind of thing with perspective and then 3D, so kind of perspective where things are small because they're far away works in 2D. But now you've got the 3D, and so she kind of looks like a 
she's got tiny weird legs and a funny arm coming out of a boob um not entirely sure this concept works which is a pity because it's nicely sculpted and put together decent design as well oh well um i'll uh, look at my list of people who like captain marvel particularly and ask them if they want it but it's it's a funny looking thing and no mistake oh well at least it's an original thing and it's nicely done <clears throat> what else have we got in the box this one was apparently <laughs> so who's familiar with only fools and horses cosmic mm. Well, I'm not missing anything. Oh, Mystery Cosmic Tea. Comes equipped with a Looter Favourite T-shirt. Or, in other words, one you've had before. Blimey. Well, uh, that's a thing, isn't it? Um, what's going on here? There's something else. It's just like a Captain Marvel very thin poster. It's a funny size as well, so you couldn't really get a frame for it. Um, it's not badly done. Um, blimey. Well, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, they're, they're getting smaller and smaller, really, aren't they? You can't really... Uh, argue that i wonder what the next one's going to be like quickly sudden jump cut before we continue it's a sponsored bit this video is brought to you by nordvpn now nordvpn is a vpn which stands for virtual private network and what it basically does is hide your online location so websites and online services can't see where you are now as you're almost certainly aware you're always broadcasting your ip address online i mean go and look at one of the many what is my ip websites and you'll see what i mean usually with a scary little map showing roughly where you are now nordvpn makes remote computers think you're somewhere else a bit like in a 90s hacker movie where they're bouncing signals of other locations except you know this is real and you don't need a black t-shirt and a funny haircut now I've personally been using them for a while and I started for a petty reason frankly I got sick of clicking on videos that say this content is not available in your area which of course makes you want to see it 1,000 times more but obviously it does way more than that I mean VPNs are increasingly important for privacy and security as well as getting around geofencing I mean yes absolutely the internet's becoming more and more restrictive article 13 anyone but cybercrime is also becoming increasingly widespread and hiding your details is good security practice. I mean, hell, a terrifying number of online companies are harvesting and selling your data, so even if you'd just like to sidestep part of that, this is useful software. And it even comes with phone, tablet, apps, etc., so all your devices can have the same level of protection. Uh, it's also dead easy to use. I want to pretend I'm in Sweden. I click on Sweden. Wait a few seconds. Boom, job done. Now the robots of the internet think I'm in Sweden. So, if you're interested, go to nordvpn.com forward slash Ashens to get 75% off a three-year plan and use code Ashens for an extra month for free. It's the only VPN to get a perfect score from PC Mag. They don't log any data, they have 24-7 customer support, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee anyway. Sponsored bit ends. So, this one, I think, is the more recent one, probably. Let's have... A look. Hang on, this has got the same box as the last one? That's... Have I been sent two of the same one? What's going on here? This is very odd. Right, so we've got... I've had this Jurassic Park t-shirt before as well. 100% definitely. And there's another 3D comic standee from Marvel. What's going on, like? Have they sent the two, same... No, wait, the other stuff... Look, this is different. This is like two uh, energy people having a scrap in the sky. You know, like at the end of the very disappointing Matrix Revolutions. Um, there's also a, a a bag with some bent metal. Is this a different craze? Is this a I'm very confused. Well, let's just look at the items and we'll come back to what have Loot Crate given us in here? I'm genuinely intrigued with this. Is it Allen keys? That would be cool. Um, oh, metal straws. Ah, yes. Because, of course, um, uh, sort of plastic straws are now Satan's bumhole. And, frankly, um, the sort of paper straws you get aren't really much better environmentally either. So you can reuse these metal straws. Not entirely sure how you wash them from the inside. A very thin bottle brush, maybe? I don't know, idea. Um, well, that's, that's potentially useful things. Um, literally just Loot Crate branded as well. They couldn't get a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> some kind of um, licensing deal to put, I don't know, ALF and Welcome Back Cotter onto these. Hey, there's a reference to the older Americans. My God, where the hell did that come out of my head? They were, what were they... God, what did they call themselves? Like the Sweat Hogs? John Travolta was in it? See, I've never seen it. 
obviously, because, you know, A, I'm too young, and B, I'm not in the country where it was a thing. But there we are. Um, I, I, do you know how I learnt about Wel Welcome Back Cotter? Seeing the action figures of it in an action figure encyclopedia. Tomart. Yeah, that's a story for you. Right. <clears throat> the Avengers 3D comic standee. So this is kind of off the back of the last one, isn't it? Hmm. It's been cut open, that's all, so I haven't done that. Um, anyway, what's in it? Which Marvel person is this? Is bloody Captain America, looking like he's squatting for a poo. Oh, and you're getting that kind of weird perspective thing. Look, he looks like he's got a giant leg and a tiny arm. Like, you can't force perspective like that when it's actually 3D. Very odd. And look at the blobby paint on old Iron Man there. Uh, 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 I'm not well. Uh. Um, yeah, that's that's a uh, physical item that's in my hand. Oh, wait, it's on the floor now. And I nearly knocked the camera over. Right. <clears throat> for range, facility, use only, Battlestar Galactica 75. Command issue, cross rank service. So is this the uh, more recent Battlestar Galactica? Or is it the classic one? The more robot-y types. What is actually in here? There's a couple of these things. Um, I'm intrigued as to what these are. Oh, it's like a Cylon... Um, Blueprint or something? No, it isn't. It's a Cylon target, and it's the design of the sort of more metal-y Cylons from the more recent series. So, yeah. So you can shoot your pellets at it in, in some manner. Okay, and there's... Is this exactly the same? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, wow. That's... that's wow. Um, don't worry, we've got this Godzilla King of the Monsters, and certainly not King of the Box Office, because the film's a bit shit, apparently. Um, bit of bit of cardboard. No, oh no, wait, there's multiples. There's multiples. Quite a nice picture. Um, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Can we get into it? This is the question that nobody cares about. And yet, the answer is yes. Yeah, I mean, I, really, I do quite like, genuinely quite like that picture. Um, I mean, if you sort of ignored that bit at the bottom, it's a nice picture of uh, Godzilla. Is that uh, Ghidorah, King Ghidorah? I don't know. Well, that's that's quite interesting as well, the more traditional Japanese style Oh, yep. There he is, being all evil. It's the 65th anniversary of Godzilla. What do they call him in Japan? Gojira? I don't know. I think I'm right on that. Well, I'm sure you can violently abuse me in the comments if I'm not. Um, and you probably will anyway, actually. Right. That's that's a. That, I mean, that was quite nice, I suppose. You'd have them all together, couldn't you? You just kind of need a paper cutter to get rid of that bit of the logo, don't you? Then you never have to think about that film again. And speaking of uh, never thinking about things again, yeah, um, that's the end of that. Showdown, April 2019. Original Another Mystery Tea, because apparently they're not making t-shirts anymore, they're just sending your old ones out of the um, warehouse. Uh, repeating that sort of idea from last... Exclusive Aquaman Challenge coin? Where? Where is this thing? I want my Aquaman Challenge coin! How else will people know I've challenged Aquaman and won? Nope, that's missing. Oh, good. Is it not in here somewhere? Well, um, we won't be featuring the Aquaman Challenge going, damn, I do like uh, little metal coins as well, you know, but um, there we are. It's got the protector of the deep on one side and his arch rival and supervillain, Evil Ken, on, oh, sorry, Black Manta on the other. We're betting this is going to make an excellent addition to your DC coin collection. I like the fact that you think I've got a DC coin collection. Um, well, I certainly don't now because I'd only have one coin and that's not in there. Um, it's a Loot Crate Showdown. Which classic looter favourites did you get? Oh no, don't tell me these are old as well. Oh shit, son. So those Battlestar Galactica Silent Target posts have been out before, I don't remember them. Mind you, they're so boring, I probably wouldn't anyway. Or it could be Star Wars number one comic, yeah? I do rem vaguely remember that being in one. Holy shit, so kind of same box as last time. T-shirt from the warehouse, missing coin. Um, well, that's probably just me, that one. Um, Godzilla art print set, that's at least new, although it's just an art print. The pin's nice, um, and repeated other stuff from the warehouse. They're just sending you the old stuff these days. I think, are they, uh, are you in trouble, guys? Because <laughs> um, this is getting a bit cheap now, isn't it? Um, I think perhaps, yeah, the twilight has fallen 
on the world of the subscription box, and uh, even the mighty loot crate seem to be proper feeling it now. Well, I shall go and use my metal straw. Hang on, were the metal straws mentioned on that? No! So I've been sent metal straws instead of the challenge coin. That's intriguing. Gotta be honest, the metal straws are more useful, so I'm quite happy with that. Hooray! There was a happy ending for everyone. Except Evil Ken. It's amazing! It's a mystery! It's the amazing mystery box! Do you see what I did there? I just said those words, but in a more dramatic fashion and strung it out a bit. Yeah, so this is um, a subscription box from uh, Norwich, I believe, in the old United Kingdom here, where I live myself. Um, and basically, it's sort of stuff that's slightly older pop culture stuff, but they just give you like a massive box of it for your money. Um, so this time, apparently, I've been sent a Game of Thrones box. It's all Game of Thrones stuff, because uh, Game of Thrones has, of course, ended now with, uh, well, yeah, I mean, a lot of people didn't like the ending. I thought it was a bit drawn out, because, you know, it was quite a slow-running series, but, like, the last half of the last series and the entire final series was so slow-paced. Also, I'm totally lying. Uh, they ruined it by just rushing through it. Everyone's saying it, but everyone is right for once. It's a bit of a shame. It really is. Um, yeah. It feels like the writers got the job at Disney for doing Star Wars. I'm just like, right, sick of this now. <laughs> Let's knock it out. Somebody said to me, actually, that they were actually offered another series of Game of Thrones to sort of um, pad it. And they're like, no, no, it's not happening. Because they both speak like that now. And nobody knows why. Anyway, Game of Thrones, then. What have we got? Oh God, a lot of plastic, that's interesting. Oh, most of it's actually in there to, uh, okay. Yeah, as packaging, that makes sense. Right, we have a Gamey Throno t-shirt. Oh, it's got all your favorite houses on. Look, House Stark with their uh, famous motto, summer's gone now, that's bad, isn't it? House Lannister with their famous motto, cash is ours. Uh, House Baratheon with their famous motto, our hearts hurt. House Targaryen with their famous motto, we're all a bit mental. Watch out. Um, what was that? That's House... Um, oh, I can't remember the name. Oh, the ones with the... Um, oh, that's going to annoy me. Uh, Jimmer Whelan's one of them. Uh, Alfie Allen's another. Greyjoy, that's it. House Greyjoy. With their famous motto, we nick everything. Uh, that's... Uh, uh, house. Oh, what's that called? That's going to bug me. Um, with the woman with the creepy sun. Or was she creepy? She was creepier than the sun, actually, I'm going to say. Come on, the sun had... Uh, you didn't see the sun character for, like, several series. He came back in the last episode, and he's, like, grown up and looks like his own dad now. It's amazing. Um, Aaron. There we are. We got there in the end. House Aaron. With their famous motto, I'll kick you down the moon door. What's that? That is house... I actually don't know. I don't know what that means off the top of my head. Because that one's is that one's Baratheon, isn't it? So what's that one? House Dancing Bastard, with their famous motto, We Speared a Deer. Um, our House Bolton, of course, with their famous motto, The Dogs Ain't My Son. Uh, that is... Ooh, oh, God, what are they called? That's going to annoy me now. I'm doing very bad remembering these names at the top of my head. That was the one that uh, you had the Queen of Thorns and all that, and the Knight of Flowers. Tyrell? Tyrell? Yes, House Tyrell. We got there. And their famous motto, we're all dead now. And finally, that's the ones from Dawn, isn't it? I'm not going to remember the name of those, unfortunately. With their famous motto, our plot lines are pointless. And there we are. That's a Game of Thrones t-shirt. I feel like this would have been a really nice one to have had but before everyone lost interest in Game of Thrones. <laughs> but there we are. Um, we've got set of four sigil so shot glasses. Look at that. We do not sow. Hear me roar. Fire and blood. Winter is coming. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't actually have any shot glasses, so now I do. Let's see what they're like. Oh, they're proper nice. I'll bang them on my teeth like I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, uh, they're really nice shot glasses. Right, I'm very happy with that. Bloody hell. Don't really care if they've got uh, Game of Thrones stuff on or not. Uh, they are useful for the drinking of the shot. Oh my god, I use one of these books all the time. I got one of these before in a, some sort of subscription box. The night is dark. 
and full of errors. And you can write those errors down here and complain about them later. I use one of these to uh, keep score when we're playing board games and stuff. And now I have a spare. That's tremendous. It's a really, really nice book. Uh, oh, less interesting. House Sigil Magnet Set. Ours is... Oh, that's Marathians, the dancing. So what's the one in the heart? Oh, that's going to annoy me now. Oh, don't care enough, actually. Do you know what it is? It's the one that rushed the ending. That's all I'm going to remember now, Game of Thrones. Um, so, yeah, you can peel those off, stick them on your fridge, take them off your fridge, put them back on the fridge again, uh, maybe do a little dance, have a sandwich, take them off the fridge, put them back on the fridge. Hey, the choice is yours. There's a mug. <clears throat> the mug is... Oh, good God. There's like a ton of... A wall of text and Jon Snow, not the newsreader. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end <clears throat> until my mug is rotated. Until my death. I shall take no wife, hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns and win no bloody hell, glory. I shall... This is so hard to read. I shall live and die at my post. I am the sword in the... Oh, I can't be bothered with it. Anyway, it's somebody who's very lonely. That's about all we need to know, really. It's probably a system operator or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's it's a mug. It's nicely printed. I, I'm not entirely sure about old uh, Kit Harrington's face on that. It's a bit sort of stretched and odd. Um, and there's a lot of text that's very difficult to read. So that's fun. Oh, hold liquids, though. <clears throat> yeah, these these are literally in there. These are top trumps. That's interesting. Are these used to protect top trumps when they're being sent or something? Hmm. Um, oh, the, oh, there's two other actual items in there. Oh my god! They're like part work figurines! Like from Diagostini or Eagle Moss or something like that. Does it say on them? Official HBO license, but it's Eagle Moss. These ones, there we are. Um, so yeah, this is like free binder with part two. You know, that kind of thing. It is a white walker. What White Walkers do, apparently, is just hang around behind their boss and then explode. So that's nice. Um, oh, it's not very really good. Up oh, God, look at the silver on the base. It's gone all up on the feet. Um, cool, these are not good. Uh, it looks a bit like Bill Nye, so that's amusing. But, yeah, it's kind of the wrong colour. They kind of had a blue tinge, whereas these are entirely grey. And the paint is really sloppy. Um, the sculpting's not bad, but you know, not massively impressed with that. And now we have, oh, what are the Sons of the Harpy? The creepy buggers in the funny masks. These work quite well in the programme, I thought. Um, yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Out you come, out you come. Why haven't you come out yet? Yeah, there we are, that was noisy. That's, oh, he's ooh, very pastely coloured, very pastely coloured. Um, oh, my God, look at the feet and the toes with all the just, the sandal is... The paint is just slopped on there. Um, not the greatest sculpt. His head looks very thin. The mask looks too small. This, this, yeah, the oh, these aren't very good. Hmm. Well, if that sort of stuff floats your boat, um, you can actually put in a code and get a third figurine, I believe, if you do order one. Um, so that that is a thing. I'll put that in a description somewhere. Um, yeah, blimey. Um, that's a lot of Game of Thrones stuff, really. I really like the book, I really like the shot glasses, the mug's okay. The figurines aren't quite up to snuff. Meh. It's all right, isn't it? Originally, this stuff would have probably cost you a million t billion pounds. But I do get the feeling that uh, the Game of Thrones uh, merchandise is going to drop in price somewhat following the final series, because, uh, I mean, when these things end anyway, um, the interest tends to wane, but as it was one of these sort of final things that didn't really appease anybody um that's probably not going to help that is it anyway winter is stark hear me lannister subscribe for more